Hello and greetings everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and we're continuing our blind let's play of the final station. This game was done by Do My Best Games, it was developed by Do, Bo Do, uh, Do My Best Games, and published by a Tiny Build. Now these guys have been really great and helpful to me, and you know, been really nice and to allowing me to play their games and hooking me up with a copy of a lot of, our Tiny Builds hooked me up with a lot of copies of games here to do blind let's play series on and other stuff so yeah these keys I don't know what function they really serve um, um, to be honest with you but we'll figure it out someday uh, but yeah thank you guys again for giving me an opportunity to do let's play videos and a review on your game and hopefully everyone else knows join watching this and maybe it will convince some people to buy some of your games for you you know from me or buy some of the games from me watching me play them so yeah as I was kind of weird little rant there um, we're going on and we're continuing here to make it to da, 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 the final station uh, yeah it definitely looks like I need to be better about conserving my ammo and other things in this game this guy definitely doesn't want to come sorry bud I'm not sure what these keys do and I, they, they should be unlocking something in the game. Maybe there was a locked door up here in the beginning. I don't remember. We'll find out. Um, maybe. Nope. And we put the code in. Two, four. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Six, six. I want to go talk to that guy. Uh, how do we get out of this? Is there a way to get out of it? Hmm. All right. I know what the, the guy says there. Dang. So, hmm. All right. We're going to have to miss that part. Um, 2488. Um, let's see what he says. He probably would have told us something there, maybe. Um, I forgot to talk to him. So, damn, I wonder if that was important. And what's, what conditions everyone here? Oh man, this guy's, he's in pretty rough shape. Um, and, uh. So she's hungry. I think I have some food. Oh wow. I don't know, I think a nuke just went off. And uh, let's see. Wow. And we're just kind of checking out people. Hopefully everyone will make it through okay. I'm doing my best to try to save everyone. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this time. Oh man. Hopefully, um, everyone's doing good. Enough that I could... Okay. We're going over. We're going to go. We're going to go. We got to go. We got to go. go. And uh, there we go. Woo! Got everyone there safe and sound. Woo! I didn't even see that guy back there before uh, unloading the cargo. 
Passengers survived. All right, Gmail Unlock City something there. So we got some kind of achievement there. And we got everyone back alive. <laughs> Should give us money for someone that's un unemployed. Shop assistant gave us 60 bucks and 12 shotgun ammos. 60 or 70 dollars from him and six pills, which I think is like money too. Uh, money, pills. It probably makes medkits and that kind of stuff. Right, librarian. He gave us 140 gold. And freelancer Scott Demand gave us 70 bucks and two shotgun shells. And the waitress gave us 270. So yeah, we got people. We got people that survived. And I really wish I would have went back and talked to that guy. Thanks again. Sorry, I need to discuss a few things. This is all our survivors. It seems nobody is here. It seems nobody here is aware of what's going on. He'll be fine. So you were saying you were bitten by someone? I know. You already figured out where it goes. Take your family and save yourself, man. Oh yeah. You have an order. That guy didn't have much to say. I stopped the bleeding. An ambulance will come soon and we'll take him to the hospital. Your bandage skills are not so good though. And it's nice to finally run into a part in the game where like, it's not super crazy. Peace out. He's just listening to music, I guess. Sorry, I have some work to do. Hey, it's another contractor guy. Eh, routes to the north are canceled. It's so boring without work. Are you going? To, let's see. Are you going from? Are you going from the north? Is everything okay there? I can't contact them. Isn't this a lovely day? Adam Thornton wants to meet you. It's urgent, he said. Mind your tongue. We owe it all to him. You can keep it, too. His office is located at the peak of the Nezbelen blah, 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 factory. It seems from anywhere in the city you can't go wrong. It seems from anywhere in the city you can't go wrong. The driver will be waiting for you waiting for you to bring you to the factory I'll print a blank I'll print a blank with the code by the time you get back newspaper why would I buy newspaper I guess I would just to see what's going on. Prices for newspapers are getting higher every day. Information about the outer world will will be outer world will be a luxury soon. He won't get in trouble. Mark my words. He is from the plant. Let's see. The Bristol Police, Police Station, under the order of Adam Thornton, uh, conducted an investigation. Let's see. The Bristol Police, under the order of Adam Thornton, conducted investigations and confiscated one ton of crushed electrum illegally mined by the Scanum Factory. As Scanum Factory management tries to transport it out of Bristol, remember that any extraordinary let's see remember that any extraction of electrium within the sea t territory must be licensed and taxed too bad that so many years later some individuals still think they can illegally smuggle mineral out of my city today example will remind them what happens in such scams there there's a belief of an increase in population or population mortality in the city I'm telling you, as a scientist, I've heard these stories since the first day of my work in Bristol. There's no benefit to us keeping our people under a poisonous atmosphere. Our goal is for each person mining electrum to live long and happy life. Okay. 
So we bought that, and we're going up here. And here's a chick. Jack, is it for you again? Huh. Ah. Um, maybe he got himself a, a little skintless thing to going on with the lady there. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Continuing on. There's a guy in the window smoking. Good guitar guy. Thanks, mate. Phone? Yeah, there's a call box on the next street. Ah, meds and ammo. Hmm. Well, why not? I'm not busy for the rest of the day. We want food. Definitely need to buy as much food as possible before we go to the next thing. Um, food and med kits. Look at that. It looks like a, a, a wiener, but I believe it's a pistol. <laughs> um, it's a pistol upgrade, maybe? I don't know. I'm assuming it's a pistol upgrade of some type. I don't, I'm not entirely certain. Um, I'm assuming so. Laser sight, extended clip. Okay, cool. So yeah, they are um, upgrades. Um, man, interesting. Those are pretty expensive upgrades though, mind you. Um, we'll probably buy a few of these things before we roll out. But I think this is a good time to call it good, folks. I'll get back to this part and then I'll start recording from here. As I say at the end of every single one of my videos here, as you guys have come to expect it, flip that bacon, see you next time, and goodbye! Yeah! Bye, bye, bye!